Police have taken a broom to warring bikie gangs, charging 31 men over April's relentless shooting spree. But the spectacular results have been soured by Sydney's sixth shooting in just three days. Alarmingly for police, all of them are unconnected. Auburn detectives hoping for a bit more friendliness from witnesses than they're expecting from victims of a ute sprayed with bullets late yesterday. Bim, bim, bim. Finish. A 39-year-old underworld figure was shot in the abdomen. His 27-year-old female passenger was shot in her head and shoulder. The initial possibility of road rage weakened when police looked into the victim's violent past. And detectives aren't placing much faith in another victim shot in the leg overnight in Bosley Park. And both incidents from overnight appear unconnected to anything else. And unconnected to four other shootings since Monday. It started with shots on a crowded street in Punchbowl, retaliation for a slap in the face over a political debate that ended in a drive-by shooting at Roselands that night. The following night at Bankstown, shots were fired into a crowded cafe, the victim taking himself to hospital just as another man arrived from Sefton with a bullet wound to his hand. Then the incidents in Auburn and Bosley Park. At least the gang squad commander has something to be happy about. Well, the shootings have stopped. Well, his shootings have. A war between Hells Angels and Nomads Bikies is hard to fight when police lock up 31 men for drive-by shootings, assaults and drug supply, and more arrests are expected. Certainly there's a spike in shootings at the moment. We're doing, what I can say, is we're doing everything possible that we can to take those guns off the street. Live to Robert Ovardia now at Auburn. Rob, you have breaking news on one of this week's shootings. Yes, Mark, this is in relation to the shooting at Restwell Street, Bankstown on Tuesday now, night. Now, police are yet to identify the shooter, but they have arrested the victim. It's my understanding he is limping around Bankstown Police Station at the moment with a fresh bullet wound to his left knee. He's being questioned right now, and it's also my understanding he will likely be charged with hindering police.